Greetings. This is video number three uh, on quantitative research analysis, and this is uh, understanding type of variables by Dr. Terry Ong. Now, um, there are basically two type of variables that we need to be uh, aware of. One is what we call the categorical data, and which usually we call it qualitative, but uh, for the purpose of um, understanding which is going to call it categorical um, and uh, there is also the numerical or we call it the quantitative data so two types of main data here that represents quantities yeah so if you look at this this uh, hierarchy hierarchy uh, thing here data is actually categorized into categorical and numerical and then under categorical you have examples like marital status political party eye color gender basically they are categories there are categories that fit into these data and uh, numerical can be um, broken down into two one is called a discrete and the other one is called a continuous now the way that we look at how we differentiate between discrete and continuous is to look at discrete uh, just basically counted items and in counted items they have to be whole numbers so for example you cannot have um, one and a half accidents you have to have one accident or two accident or three accidents so there's nothing in between a one and a two whereas in continuous it is what we have as measured characteristics like weight voltage or even uh, wages or things that you can have things in between like 1.2 centimeters uh, 34.5 kilograms and so on and so forth so let's talk about levels of measurement from the uh, types of uh, data that we had so first off the most basic level of measurement is what we call the nominal scale, which classifies the data into distinct categories in which, very important here, no ranking is implied. So things like personal computer ownership, you have a yes and no, stocks own, whether it's growth value or others, internet provider, uh, even gender, male, female, is part of a categorical uh, variable which um, will require nominal scale yeah that's basically it now the next level is the ordinal scale which classifies data into distinct categories and the important thing here to know is that ranking is implied now, one of the reasons why gender is not an ordinal scale is because we don't say that the females are better than the males or the males are better than the females, they're all equals. But as you can see from the categorical variable here, in terms of uh, ordinal scale, you have student class designation, product satisfaction, faculty ranking, uh, hotel rating and student grades with all these as your possible values that can go into the variable yeah now you notice from the nominal down to the ordinal you add on the rank now to go even higher you then have the interval scale which is an audit scale which the difference between measurements is a meaningful quantity but the measurements do not have a true zero point which means there is no fixed zero point uh, because is for example if you take temperature a zero temperature here in Malaysia does not mean it's the same zero temperature in another country so therefore although every single value that you put in the interval scale is a category by itself and there is ranking but you cannot do comparisons the only way you can do comparison is to use a ratio scale which is the same as your interval scale but the difference is now that you have a meaningful quantity and measurements because everyone has a zero true zero point for example weight you cannot have a negative 2.5 kilograms you know uh, 
if you are in debt, then you are just zero and uh, you don't have money. So you can compare uh, if I have 5,000 here and you have 10,000. So this is a ratio scale. That means I can say that you earn twice as much as me. Now let's try this. What do you think these kinds of data types are and what are the measurement? Highest degree earn is across categorical because there are categories and it's ordinal. Accidents on road. Now you know that this is counted, so it's definitely discrete numerical and there is a fixed zero point, so it's ratio. Brands of cars, you know it's categorical and uh, it's nominal because you have categories of brands of cars. No one is uh, better than the other. Speed of finishing a task, this is a measured variable, so you use a timer to measure, so it becomes a continuous numerical and there is a fixed zero point, so it becomes ratio. Income group also is continuous numerical with a fixed zero point. Age group is a category ordinal. The reason why age group is category is because you are grouping ages into groups and we are not actually asking the person's actual age. Now, if we're asking the person's actual age, then we are basically saying that that would be a continuous numerical ratio data. So please make sure you do not confuse yourself between age and age group. Now this is important because the type of data and the type of measurement will then inform us of the type of analysis that we can do. So the next few series of videos will tell us what are the kind of analysis that we can do for the type of measurements. But understanding the measurement is of course the most important part to begin with. Okay, if you have any questions, please email me. Thank you for watching.